Hey everyone, my name is Matt. Welcome to my shop. Today is December 22nd and this is my weekly shop update. Now I don't have anything really exciting to talk about here as far as things going on in the shop, but I do have a few things to share with you this week. Uh, the first thing I want to share is this new addition to my plane collection. Um, my in-laws got this for me for Christmas this year. Uh, we did Christmas a little early because they are actually in Africa right now visiting my sister-in-law. So uh, what this is, is a compass plane or a circular plane. And what this allows you to do is plane either convex or concave surfaces. So if I were to take, for instance, my template for my radius of my uh, door tops, this is a little tight, but you can see you can adjust the plane so that it actually comes into a curve, which you could actually plane the inside of a curve or a concave curve. And the same thing is true with the other directions. You can change the adjustment. Turn in. And you can have it playing a convex curve. So this is going to be really cool. I'm really excited about this. I've really wanted one of these for a while. Um, my in-laws, they have a friend who actually collects planes. Hi, Matt. I know he watches these videos occasionally. So thank you so much for uh, <laughs> arranging for this to be sent to me. Um, this is going to be great here in my shop. All I have to do now is just finish sharpening the blade and just give it a little tune-up. But I'm really excited to start using that in my, in my work here. Really pumped about that. <laughs> so I know I said I didn't really do anything in the shop this week. Uh, what I was doing was actually a custom job for a lumber customer of mine. Uh, he wanted a bunch of strips that were milled to exactly uh, 1 3 inches wide by 0.7 eight five inches thick um, so that's what I was doing as far as shop time goes this week so that's not really that exciting so not really a whole lot to share in that regard um, so I thought what I'd do today is just answer a couple of quick questions that I've been getting or I got last week after requesting some shorter quicker questions to talk about um, and if you haven't seen already last week I released the first installment of what I'm calling Ask Matt which is where I just did a quick video on the chisels that I have in my collection behind me so if you haven't seen that already, feel free to check that out. Uh, I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. Uh, this week is going to be a, a, a video about my sharpening techniques. And then the following one will be about the planes that I use. Um, I'm not sure what the fourth one's going to be. I have a few topics as well. Um, again, if you have any larger topics that you want to see me cover, feel free to send those to me. I'm always looking for more ideas. So today, just a couple of quick questions that I want to run through, which I think will be pretty interesting. I got the question from a few people, which was, Matt, tell me about the different mallets that you use with your chisels and in, in your woodworking. And I kind of laughed to myself a little bit because this is the only mallet that I use. It's just a really cheap rubber mallet. It's a hard rubber mallet. I use it for everything. I use it for assembly, to like knock joints together. I use it for chiseling, for hammering on the chisels. Um, I know it's not glamorous. It's probably not the best tool for the job but it works really well and I haven't had a problem with it. So it's kind of one of those like, well, it works just fine, so why change it? <laughs> uh, so yeah, sorry, not, not that exciting of an answer, I guess. <laughs> I do want to turn one of those carver's mallets at some point and maybe make an actual like uh, wooden mallet just for fun. I think that'd be pretty cool. But uh, yeah, right now, I just use that rubber mallet for everything around the shop. Another really fun question I got, which I, which I had to really think about and actually count up, was how many joints are going to be in the secretary desk and bookcase when it's all done? And just to go through this real quick, the desk itself has 18 mortise and tenon joints, 42 through dovetail joints, 12 sliding dovetail joints, 28 half blind dovetail joints, 30 dados, and two breadboards. <laughs> And the uppercase has uh, 44 dados, <laughs> 12 Morse and tenons, 6 through dovetails, and 6 half blind dovetails. So that's a lot of joints. <laughs> so the last question today was about rust prevention of my tools. Uh, William had asked, um, how do I prevent the rust of my tools? Do I use wax or, or what do I do there? Um, the interesting thing, I'm not sure what it is, is I don't have a problem with cast iron surfaces in my shop just developing rust for no reason. Um, I guess I'm lucky in that sense. I don't know what it is, but I don't have to really maintain them or make sure I put something on them to keep them from rusting. They've stayed really nice and um, 
clean by themselves. I do apply a coat of uh, paste wax just to the surfaces so that things can actually slide through a little bit easier. But overall, I have never had any problems with uh, just rust developing for no reason. The only time I've had rust develop on my tools is when I leave something wet on them. <laughs> that's happened a few times because, you know, things happen. <laughs> so that's about it for this week. A uh, really quick update for you guys. I hope everyone has a Merry Christmas. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm going to be at my parents' place for the whole week here. So I'll be with them uh, celebrating the holidays with my family. Um, yeah, so thank you all everybody for watching. I greatly appreciate it as always. If you have any questions or comments about anything I talked about today, which wasn't that much, <laughs> or anything here in my shop, please feel free to leave me a comment. I greatly appreciate those. And as always, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. If you have any questions for either the quick questions segment of this show or one of those broader topic questions, please feel free to leave those as well. Till next time, happy woodworking.